The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. Hey there, Said. Hey, how's it going? Hey everyone. How Great. Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, first things first. Sorry, like my English is not my first language, so if uh, if I like say like grammatically or any word incorrectly, so first thing first. Sorry about that. Uh, I think my I hope my voice is fine. Is it? Like you can hear it clearly. Oh, you sound great. I think, great. I think you're more clear than I am. So uh, and, and great. <laughs> your, your English is great, man. Uh, you're coming in yeah, loud and you. clear. Fantastic. So yeah, you want you want to quickly intro yourself? Obviously, uh, don't divulge any information you you, you wouldn't want to divulge publicly. But uh, let us you know tell the audience uh, whatever it is you're, you're willing to divulge. Sure. So the project is mainly, as you mentioned before, in the in, in the start of the stream, it's mainly led by Fiat Demise. I'm just a contributor and a dev, but mainly they are the ones who are just uh, basically running it. And and a special thanks to Radan and Vtnord for actually helped us building the project. I'm not sure like uh, like the project is basically built uh, a bit differently from the ones that's out there. So like it wouldn't be possible without their help. So I just want to give them a shout out as well. And yeah, that's it, I think. Fantastic. Yeah, do you want to describe a little bit how it is built? And then maybe yeah. as you're doing that, I'll I'll start to present, I'll start to bring it up on sure. screen over here. Uh, the main difference would be like, I would say like most, I'm not saying all because I don't know all of the projects out there, but I would say most of them like, uh, if you basically need an event for knowing if some tip has happened or like if some, if some payment has been paid, you basically get to use the R RPC of, of Monero. But uh, the design of that is basically uh, in a way that it supports just single wallet. So it's not basically designed to, uh, to support multiple wallets. Uh, however, uh, there is the package called uh, LWS, Monero LWS by VT Nerd. Uh, it's basically uh, makes it easier so that uh, it gives you the server, it, it gives you the environment so you can listen to multiple ad addresses, multiple uh, wallets at the same time. So that actually made our life way much easier that rather than that just facing the issue, just switching the wallets uh, between multiple streamers, multiple streamers. And uh, that's basically the case that uh, we, we, we basically wanted to handle multiple streamers at the same time, not just one at a time. So, yeah, and it's actually even easier to use and very like very much more intuitive. Okay, yeah, yeah, very cool. Yeah, so obviously, given the nature of what we're trying to do here, you need to be able to handle sure. multiple streamers at once, and you need the transactions to feel relatively instant. So, exactly, their transactions. Oh, right now, with the comment, if. You, yeah, uh, right now, like uh, there is no confirmation needed, like in any of the requests. Basically, there are two main ones here. Uh, one is for creating the tip page, which is just a small amount, just to prevent spamming, and the other one is basically the main thing, that which is a tipping this streamer, and it's actually being directly sent to to the streamer wallet. There is nothing in the middle, like uh, we generate address from the uh, primary address that they provide us, so. There is nothing in the middle. It's basically directly uh, to their address with uh, with some payment ID, so we can detect who made the payment, basically. Uh, and and it's actually instant. So like, uh, as soon as the transaction is on the chain, it actually shows up. It doesn't wait for any confirmations. That makes it even more, even much more faster. And it's it's the light wallet server that's allowing us to do that, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. LWS. Yes. Okay. Um, exactly so yeah, so I've been I've been a I've been a part of this project from the beginning. Uh, Fiat Demise reached out to me. Um, I had been talking about trying to build a uh, super chat thing, and uh, we I I don't even remember how it initially kicked off. Fiat Demise got excited about this, and he reached out. He had reached out to me, and so we. It's been a while now. We started talking about it. Uh, I asked if he'd be interested in project managing it. 
um because i don't have i didn't really have the time we, we kind of came to an agreement on that and uh, what our what our different roles would be so I, I haven't played any role in terms of the project management or the tech um i was there in the beginning to kind of help give my ideas on how i should see it should how i would want it to function uh, but fiat demise really ran with it and he's done a fantastic job project managing this and carrying it across the finish line with the help of the devs like Saeed and uh, who you said, uh, Radan, right? Uh, also, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. Actually, uh, I, I actually had my own small team, but uh, basically, the ones that wanted their name out here was basically Radan. So that's why. Right. Yeah. So uh, I've been I've been you know supplying some funds to to, to Fiat as needed, and Fiat's been. Uh, uh, supplying funds as well so to to, to get the debt to pay the devs to, to help us build this but uh it was really via demise that that project managers and then with the help of these these devs behind the scenes that built everything which is awesome for those who don't know who uh radan is, i don't know if it's radan or radan um he mm -hmm. is also a guy behind kuno so kuno was built by anarchio and um radan took that over and he's the one that's that's running kuno and yeah so that's 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 kind of what's been happening and so i haven't really to be honest checked in much uh fiat demise is telling me it's going well but i haven't tested it out until moments before this show i tried getting it up and running um so it's it's new for me too so this is this is very exciting now if if I'm correct, um, I'm told that you guys figured out how to essentially get it to the point where comments can display live on the stream itself using Twitch, the Twitch integration into StreamYard. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, basically, like in like a few hours before the show, like the last test is was done was basically just popped something wrong. But basically, how it is supposed to work. The choose Twitch to basically log the uh, messages that are being sent uh, in the in XMR chat, and the reason was we chose Twitch because it was basically somehow easier to manage, and the API was more much more simple than YouTube or any other platforms, and it was more widely used. So we chose Twitch, and basically there is a button there. Basically, it's called XMR underline chat. So that's the handle for the XMR chat bot. So how it's supposed to work is that once a tip is made. And by the way, the streamer, streamer, streamer is supposed to uh, save their, uh, basically how somehow connected to XML chat. So how we do is basically asking them for the uh, URL of their uh, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch account. So any tip made that the bot automatically is supposed to send it uh, in the Twitch live chat. And so basically we can actually extend it to much more, uh, we can extend it to more uh, platforms, but for, for but for the start, we should be, uh, we started with Twitch uh, to handle the uh, live uh, live messages on uh, streaming platforms. Okay, so so maybe you could obviously we're, we're going to want to try to see that today if we get that if we get that working and showing. So let me let, let's let's sure. just back up for a second. Second, so we were uh, I'm on xmrchat.com right now. So this is obviously what you would see when you show up as a new user. Um, somebody who is looking to create their own xmrchat.com page, right? So you're a streamer, exactly. you want to create your own page, you'd go to xmrchat.com. And so uh, we have a simple FAQ here that's first explaining like, why, why are we even using Monero for these purposes? And anybody who listening to the show probably knows, right? So the reason we're using Monero, because it's, it's kind of the perfect crypto to use for these purposes. Uh, especially given that we were able to use LWS. So uh, by using Monero, um, the streamers through, via XMR chat will be able to instantly receive anonymous digital cash tips that come in with a comment attached to it. And it's going to pretty much be instantaneous. It's going to be anonymous. Um, and yeah, censorship resistant, all that great stuff. Right. So, and, and, and no fees, right. Just the fee of the Monero network itself. Exactly. Uh, right so not now like there is no not, fee. Yeah. 
Right, right. Right now, there's we're trying to work on what a potential revenue scheme might be, but as of now, yeah, no fee, right? And I imagine it, it is essentially going to stay that way in terms of the the tips themselves. But we're working on uh, we're trying to come up with some kind of some kind of revenue model that would allow us to continue to support this and hopefully grow it and have some income coming in, right? So this is, you know, th these can't just be charity cases, right? We need, we need these tools to be self-sufficient, right? They need to, they need to be earning money, but uh, the, this thing is always going to be way more competitive than any alternative, right? So you, you as a streamer, you're getting your digital cash tips directly sent to you with no fee, just the fee of the network itself. There's no uh, bank in the middle or corporation in the middle taking, you know, 20% of your, your tip income. You're, you're receiving it all. So you can read about, read about that here in the FAQ, some, some really simple things. Why tip with XMR chat? Why does XMR chat use Monero? Like I said, and then uh, just a quick little explanation of where to get Monero for those who've never even used Monero for the first time. We want to use XMR chat as a tool that helps grow Monero usage. Um, we're hoping that this, this thing has so much utility that those who don't even yet know about Monero would go out of their way to learn about Monero for purposes of XMR chat, right? So if you're some streamer and you have, you know, you're, you're getting, you're making thousands of dollars a month in, in tips already with super chats, uh, you might want to move over to XMR chat or at least add XMR chat as an additional means of receiving tips. Like why not? So you get tips, digital cash without losing any fees. So now I'm going to kind of like take us through the process. So let's say you're coming here for the first time, you're a streamer, you're going to go to create starters here. Uh, I already created, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do sign up instead. So you're starting from scratch. Um, watch me. I will do, obviously nobody would be able to. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, so hopefully this works. I'm going to sign up, create an account. I already created an account for Monero Talk. Uh, now I'm going to create one for Monero Topia. So this will be for my Monero Topia streams. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I entered a password, uh, an email, and I entered my password twice. Now I'm going to go to login. Oh, okay, Actually, so right saying now you're, to... you're supposed to yeah confirm your email because just confirm, we just yep. don't want the spams. Yep, yep. So hopefully I can bring that up without revealing too much. Let's see. Oh shoot. I have it. You have that? All right. So I'm gonna actually have Sunita in the background click and confirm okay. the email. Yeah, Guys, did. you did it. All right, so the email, the confirm email went through. We clicked confirm. So now let's see if I. All right, so Sunita says she clicked on it and says account has been successfully activated. Okay, so now right now you're in. supposed Boom. to be able to log in. Yeah. Oh wait, but now it logged in under. Did it just log in under my Monero Top account? Yeah. I don't know what I just did here. Now I'm logged in under. Hold on a sec. Let me. Did you see what just happened? Okay, hold on. Actually, yeah, your screen on. is frozen on login page. We can I can't really say anything. But you're supposed to log out, then just try logging in. Oh, I see. Hold on, because I have two up at once. Hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. Okay, we can all see one. Oh yeah. my god! All right, all right. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. Now I'm hitting login. Okay, logged in. It says I don't have a page yet because I didn't create one. So now I'm going to go to create new page. So I'm creating my, my streamers page. So it's yeah. just going to ask them for some real simple information. It's asking for a logo. Let's see if I could do this now. I don't know. This might be a bad idea trying to do this on the spot, but I don't know. Mm. 
Sunil, where's the files for the... No, no. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's see if I could pull up. Where's all the... Oh, he doesn't have this. What are you trying to get? You're, oh, you're live. All right. All right, guys. Hold on. We got Sunita helping us out here. I'm just going to try to pull up the logo. It's annoying. Hold on a sec. Can you can you guys see my file manager right now? No, right? No, it's just your uh, this still more okay. Page. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Um, can you drag it? No, I think I just oh, made okay. one myself. Oh. Yeah, I have one already made. I just kind of want to take people through the process, but I see. I see. Hold on. I know, but you can't find where it was before. No, because for some reason that noise not popping up. All right, so I guess you guys could see. So you would you would um, upload a logo. You'd upload a banner image. You would enter an ID. So mine will be Monero Topia which is available. Um, you would enter your Monero primary receive address. So I recommend that you create a new wallet for this. So create a, you know, uh, if you're going to create this account, create a completely new fresh wallet, whatever it is on your cake wallet, on your feather wallet, on the Monero uh, client, uh, create, a, create a fresh wallet for this purpose. So this is where you'd put your primary receive address. And then we're also asking you to put in your Monero secret view key. So uh, anybody who uses Monero a little bit knows that Monero has various keys. The Monero, by entering your Monero secret view key here, it's gonna allow the system to basically use LWS to scan for Monero transactions uh, in the background that your wallet is receiving. So. That is maybe the only little like difficult hurdle for somebody who's not super familiar with Monero. Um, they're gonna have to kind of get over get over that hump and understand that they're, you're entering a receive address, which is which is very simple and, and obvious. Everybody knows uh, the concept of receive addresses, uh, but then you'll have to go, also go and find your Monero secret view key. Uh, also relatively simple, and we have uh, there is a way. Uh, I'm not seeing it here right now, right? But I think there was like a little info section on this, right, Said? That gives yeah, people... actually, like it, it basically like it gives its place to the error. If if it if, if you, I think if you type something in, it will come back. I basically, if you just type anything, like okay, oh okay, you, you actually have to get it. Actually, we we put a help thing there uh, as like for them to be able to know how to get their secret key. Oh here here this this is the the key for my my exactly. other one right. So it popped in so you can yeah. see it. So now it says we need a secret view key to be able to view incoming trend. Where to find your view key? So if you go here, yeah, it takes you to a uh, guide just, page so that you can take take the uh, secret key from your wallet or anything like that. Right, which is fantastic. Um, okay, so is, is my screen still live right now? It is, right? It is, yeah. But we didn't see the page okay. because it's it's only streaming the this this tab right now, not the other ones. Right. Well, uh, what tab is it showing? Right? Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the create page. So like I said, so super, super. This this is actually much simpler than I'm making it seem. The create page is just that you're just uploading a logo, uploading a banner image. You're entering your slug, which for me, obviously, Monerotopia, very straightforward. I already created a Monero talk one, your primary receive address, your secret view key. And then here is what Saeed was talking about. This is where you would enter your Twitch channel. If you have a Twitch channel, you'd enter that. Exactly. Um, and then here's where you can add tiers for tipping, right? So if you wanted to say, hey, uh, 
anytime somebody posts a comment, uh, you know, whatever, um, comments, uh, hmm. Basically comment like, uh, to, I'm sorry to read, let's say, to, yeah, yeah. To, to, right now the, the names are hidden. It's just the amount. Whenever the, the viewer is tipping, they can just choose any amount or just enter their own value. But, but tiers just make it easier for them. Just click it and instead of typing the number in, you can just create your own uh, tiers. So they don't right, but there was so way way I'm thinking, right? So I have a tier like to 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 I'm not naming them well, but like to view a comment, right? So anytime you send fifty cents with your with your comment, I'm saying I'll view it. Anytime you send a dollar with your comment, I'm saying I'll read your comment live, right? Um, hmm. Basically, it's like the, the name field right now on the tiers is basically not. Uh, not appropriately being used. We had other plans for the name, but right now, if you if if you if you finish this and go to the tipping page, you would see that the tiers are just uh, the pre-made numbers for the for the tipper for the donor. So that instead of typing the 50, uh, 50 cents, they just click it and it populates the input. After we create okay. because in, in the next section, we can just uh, check that out. All right. So 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 let me do this. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna I'm gonna actually gonna log out. For a second, I'm gonna relog. I'm gonna log in now with the account that I already created. So I'm not mm -hmm. gonna take us through that because I don't want to start adding uh, uh, XMR addresses and stuff. So, so I already have an account. So I'm gonna go to streamer login. I have an account created for Monero Talk that I've already created. I'm gonna log in. Boom! There it is. Right. So yeah. here's my account that I just created right before this show. Here's the icon I've added. Here's the banner I added. And I've already received my first two tips. Uh, first one was from Fiat Demise, obviously. One small sentence for man, one giant leap for free speech. Very nice. And then Fiat Demise sent me a second one to test the, the Twitch, Twitch test message. So let's, let me go back to StreamYard here. So obviously, like, one way to do this and kind of we were saying kind of the workaround way would be as as somebody is streaming they can just be looking at the xmr chat page right view page and they'll see mm -hmm. the tips coming in right um yeah. but the more ideal way is in addition to me being able to see the tips coming in as you guys are sending it uh would be for me to be able to now post the comment live on the stream um so i don't know saeed are we are we able to do that with the twitch i do have twitch integrated into Streamyard. i am connected it is live um i have that i did connect it to this monero talk account that i just created how would okay. i now show that it is actually uh, like supposed to work basically i would say but before, just before the show, we just you see the last the test Twitch message. I think it didn't come up. It was I think it was because of the Twitch authentication. That's kind of weird. Just it's, it's it sometimes expires our token. But uh, but yeah, it, it might not work. But it's supposed to. So it just sends a message in your Twitch account using XMR chat uh, account. But I suppose it's supposed to work. I think so. Oh wait, here here, here it is. It worked. Oh, wait, it's sh shortwave. Leave it to shortwave. Oh, always pulling through. Shortwave, just yeah, straight. Right. Just, Perfect. Uh, so it, it pops up in the stream yard as coming from XMR chat, and it's coming via Twitch. Uh, shortwave says, he tipped 50 cents. Great work, guys. So there we go. Amazing. Perfect. Congratulations. Yeah, it's actually we, live. We need the, yeah, don't we need have the, uh, the clap sound. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. This is, dude. This is this is amazing. I mean, when we when we when Fiat Demise and I originally talked about this, we were talking about, all right, well, we'll just, you know, show the tip screen like I'm showing right now for everybody could see, uh, and then I'll just mention the tweet, the 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 comments. Uh, but you've effectively figured out how to tie it into Streamyard using Twitch, which is beautiful. So now anybody yeah. that sends a uh, XMR chat. Uh, comment with the tip, it will pop up 
in StreamYard behind the scenes. I'll see all the comments as I do any other comment that comes up. Uh, and then well, I can we, add we it to thing. the stream. We got another one. Boom. Oh, this was from Tux. Tux tipped the, tipped the dollar. Buying more Monero. All right, <laughs> Tux. Cool. Glad it worked. Um, this is this is awesome, man. So, um, so Tux, on your end, what was it like? What did you have to do on your end to uh, to send the send the tip? Just went to your page, xmrchat.com slash Monero talk. Put it in name, message, tip amount, continue, and then it gives you a QR code, and you send that, and then I sent it with Cake Wallet, and that was it. This is this is amazing, guys. So we we are officially up and running. Um, Tux, if you want to just drop the link in the in the chat, yeah, let's yes, do it. for everybody to see and fully understand uh, and to to tip if they like. Obviously, no no pressure uh, on the tipping, but we we want to get. We want we want this tool to be uh, yet another use case for Monero for all the reasons I'm saying. Right, if people are going to be uh, doing super chats, they might as well use Monero to do it. And uh, maybe this becomes something that starts to bump up the the daily Monero transaction count. Right? Uh, imagine imagine we get some large streamers on here. Right. So this is what Fiat Demise and I have been dreaming about from from day one. Uh, he, he's a, he's a big vision guy as well. He sees the great potential in this. I mean, imagine we have Tim cast, right. Or whoever it is, you know, some, some Liberty minded streamers that are out there with thousands, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of viewers. And now they've decided to implement xmrchat.com. As you guys can see how easy it is for them to create an account. Uh, it would, it'd be a tremendous, tremendous boon for uh, XMR daily transaction counts. I mean, if Timcast is using XMRChat.com to receive Monero-based super chats, you're gonna you're, we're gonna see an uptick uptick in Monero usage for sure. Now, obviously, I'm not saying he's gonna start using this tomorrow, but uh, it's up to us as a community to get the word out, right? So we could start with some of the smaller smaller streamers and podcasters, such as myself, right? Some of those that are already into Monero that would really get it. So anybody that's listening that is a Monero user, obviously you're all Monero users, I assume, if you're listening. But if you have a podcast or you stream or anything, create an account. Start using it. Free, free to use. Uh, for now, free to free to create one. And no fees taken. And we will, we will slowly try to get the word out to some larger streamers and start getting them to use this. They're, what they're going to be most encouraged by isn't the fact that they want to spread Monero, right? They, they're probably not uh, idealists like us in that regard, um, but they're just going to want to, out of their own, out of their own need and greed, they're going to want to keep all the tips they get. They don't want to give away whatever twenty percent of their their tips to some corporation or bank or some middleman. So, no middleman with XMRChat.com. You get the tips directly in your wallet. Let me see now. I'm going to open up my my wallet. I haven't even checked that. So I, like I said, I created a new wallet just for this. Let's see, it's got this, it's got a sync. Give it a second, because I have really bad internet over here, guys. Guys, I'm so excited by this that I've actually stopped eating my homemade Sicilian pasta and sausage. That's that's how excited I am by this. Um, all right, it's loading. But let's see. Let's see. Once it loads, we'll see if the tips are in fact there. Give it a sec. Mm, All right, way, Matt. Saeed, go, what, what? Yeah, you can go also go to the go to your view page in the drop down on the top uh, right corner. If you click on, uh, I think it's called a view tip page. If you click on that, it will take you to the page that the viewers basically see when they are tipping you. It's the same thing that it has been linked, uh, has been posted in the in the chat. Basically, that's the same thing. Page that where I see the tips coming in and I see the comments. This is the page that I would want to show the audience if I were going to show them. Uh, and you're saying I can now go to my tip page. Is that what you're talking about? Exactly. Yeah, it's the same right. page that so, the donors see. Right. Okay, so this is the my my tip page. So right, this is this is from the viewpoint of the viewers of the tippers. 
This is exactly. the page that they see. So this is actually xmrchat.com slash Monero Talk with the Monero Talk slug. Um, this is the page that you guys can go to and just, oh, here's like, so we can see the recent tips coming in on the side. You just got the new one. Uh, John McAfee <laughs> tips, the only currency that is actually used. All right, wait, let's go to, uh, let me go back on StreamYard. We'll see it pop up. Boom, there it is. This is huge, guys. I, I, I don't know. This, this feels like a moment. This feels like another moment in Monero. We had we had a moment last weekend when I bought groceries directly in Astoria, Queens, New York with Monero. Uh, this feels like a big moment as well. Super exciting. Great job, man. Hey, great work. Great work. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to the team yeah, as well. I, I I you, yeah, thanks all. I actually wasn't yes, the main, to, uh, main thank you, Renan. but... Yeah, but since Fiat Dimas couldn't make it, I just was here to just basically talk uh, from their end. But basically, like, I was just being told what to do. Like, they were the main guy in here. So, yeah, big thanks to them as well. Fantastic. Yeah, the only, uh, I can't show my wallet only because it's not loading. This is not an XMR chat issue. This is just uh, a Doug shitty internet issue right now. So. Uh, maybe if I turn my Wi-Fi off here and I just used, let's say, the blocks are slowly, slowly loading. Hmm. Reconnect the Wi-Fi. All right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is fantastic. So obviously I'll be using this every show. Um, I will be using xmrchat.com every show and uh asking our viewers to to send chips to send tips to xmrchat.com slash monero talk or probably I'll, like i said i'll create a separate one for monerotopia and so you guys will be able to send any super chat tips our way through that and more importantly start using your, yourselves test it out Create create a an account for yourself if you're a streamer, and just get the word out on it. Let's see if we get some podcasters recognizing the utility in this, starting to use it. Uh, show the message on the screen, or will it work with YouTube or viewer. You don't you don't need to be running Twitch. Um, you just go to xmrchat.com slash whatever the slug page is, right? So in this case, it's slash Monero talk and you just send the tip. You're, you're not messing around with Twitch or anything. You're, you're not even creating an account. It's super easy to send a tip from the viewpoint of the viewer, right? You don't, there's really not much anything. You're just going to the website. You're just going to the URL, xmrchat.com slash Monero talk. You're entering in your, your name. You're entering in the tip amount and then you're entering your message and hitting continue. I guess we could, I do one right now. It's just my wallet isn't working on my side. Um, that's the only reason I'm not doing it. Tux, do you want it? You want to do it on your end? You mind sending another small tip and bringing it up from the viewpoint of the viewer? Yeah. Uh, let me pull it up. Yeah. And just uh, so people can see. So, you know, you, you, Tux doesn't need to mess around with Twitch, but from the viewpoint, from the, from the uh, users, the streamer side, I I have a Twitch account. I already had one for purposes of streaming, and I guess a lot of a lot of streamers already do, right? Because when you stream and we use Streamyard, most, I think uh, most people are using Streamyard these days. It's super simple, and then with Streamyard, it's very easy to add multiple different uh, streaming services. So right now, when we're using Streamyard, we're streaming on X. We're streaming on facebook which i don't know like we always get like one guy to like it whenever i he might even like it right now that one guy is out there on facebook he usually sends a, a like whenever i mention it uh we're streaming on youtube we're streaming we're usually streaming on instagram but for some reason it wasn't working today right tux and then we're also streaming on twitch it all it's all automatic all those accounts are already connected to my stream yard and uh, it's as simple as that so any any streamer that wants to start using xmrchat.com to receive Monero tips directly would just have to create a Twitch account and connect it to their StreamYard. 
it's really not any more uh, complicated than that. All right, guys. And if you want to send a tip, Quick. you just go to xmrchat.com slash Monero Talk. You put in, it could be anything, it could be any name in tip amount and the message. And then you just go ahead and continue. And it gives you the QR code, which you could just scan with uh, any Monero wallet. I'll be using Cake Wallet. And I'll go ahead and scan this. Actually, I'm going to connect to my local node real quick. I'm sorry. In the meantime, I actually want to answer Anon in the chat, if it's possible, please. Mm -hmm. uh, they're actually yes. trying to ask if uh, it is possible, if, like how it is connected to Twitch. It's basically the way it works. There is XMR underline chat account that we have created as like, you can see it has a bot. And yeah, it's just a bot that you created for Twitch, right? Yeah, exactly. But that, but that was the first idea, but we can actually, we were trying to make it uh, be integratable into the OBS as well. So I see many streamers use that or even Rumble that uh, they have mentioned. We can actually use their API to send in there as well. Yeah. But, yeah. All right, so I'm wait, gonna wait, sorry, I actually I... send. Okay, go ahead. And then we can see how uh, quickly it goes through. It should be pretty fast. All right, sending and tap send. All right, I just sent the tip and there we go. That was how fast it, it received it. Took, That's took like half a, le less than half a second there. And there you go. You can well, see Donald Trump tip $1. Yeah, you know, uh, he's he's not using, Tux isn't using Venmo. He's not using Nano, right? He's using Monero and it's, it's <laughs> happening uh, on chain, but using LWS like, I think, you know, that's one of the things that gets thrown at Monero. Like, yeah, Monero is great. It's private by default, but it's unusable because it's so slow. And what, like, I, I mean, mean, you don't necessarily you need one conf, right? I mean, for something like this, where it's like really small tip stuff, like that's totally okay. You don't need, you don't need even a single conf, right? It could show up as soon as it can see the transaction in the mempool. And as you can see, it's very, very, very fast. Less than half a second after I tapped send, it actually confirmed not confirmed on chain, but confirmed that I had sent the transaction to uh, that address, which is very cool. Uh, so it actually works very well. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. You know, this is one of the obviously the use cases that people were most excited about with the advent of crypto was microtransactions, right? Being able to do of things course, like this. Yep. And I feel like Monero has been discounted for those purposes and we're proving otherwise, right? So not only is Monero the best form of digital cash, uh for sending things default privately but it's actually functioning for microtransaction purposes and as we all know fees are super low on monero and they'll forever will be fee uh you know super cheap given dynamic block sizes and now um, with monero so you can't have some you know some big some big drug lord who sends you a nice fat tip but then taints your entire wallet because that's just not a thing that's possible in monero and I like the way yeah. that you guys have set up this one. Obviously, this isn't the most ideal way to do super chats, uh, but I like how you've kind of worked around the limitations of StreamYard and done this clever way of using a Twitch bot to send comments to the Twitch stream, uh, chat stream, which we can then manually pull up um, on stream by clicking on the comment. So that's that's pretty clever. Obviously, yeah, the I mean. To, to be honest, it's a lot more slick than I ever imagined we'd be able to get it to at this point. Like, I'm not really seeing what else I would want or need it to do. Like, what do you, what do you like, right? I mean, it's, we, as we traditionally use StreamYard, we have the comments come up in the comment feed. Yeah, I mean, this is the, kind of the best way to do it with StreamYard. Um, I mean, yeah. traditionally, like for OBS, you'd have like a, a dedicated, um, an overlaid browser window that will actually show the comments automatically. Uh, but obviously can't do that with StreamYard, right? And a lot of people use StreamYard. A lot of people don't even use OBS anymore. Uh, so this is a great tool for people who do use StreamYard, and it's super easy, simple to set up. And all you have to do is just pull the comments up once you see them. Um, and you could even star the comments and keep them in, like, a starred area and read them later if you want to at the mm -hmm. end of the show or something. Uh, but, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. And it's it's slick, and it works pretty well. So great job to, to both you, Saeed, and uh, Fiat Demise for working on this project. Thank it's cool you. to see you. Thanks. 
Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Tux, you were there from the beginning, right? When we were talking about it, it's been, uh, I think it's been like six months now or maybe, maybe even more. Yeah. I do right? remember this being when talked said, about hey, briefly we're, a while I'm like, ago. we're working on this project and we're going to launch it soon. And you're like, all right. <laughs> and, uh, sure enough, they freaking figured it out. Now, funny enough, um, actually, the timing's like super weird, but I actually happened to just stumble into a, um, a super chatter like software like service right that actually lets you use Venero mm -hmm. like last week uh however it does use the traditional way the obs way of um providing the uh the super chat information on on stream itself um uh, you know it gives you a page which you could read off manually but it uses that ob the traditional obs way of having the browser overlay to show the comments um on the stream itself so it's, it works a little bit differently right but that was funny okay. to see because I had no idea there was a service that existed already that lets you super chat using Monero. Um, and it was, it's OBS not exclusively is, Monero, but. Right, right. But OBS is kind of a pain in the ass. I know it's like, it's great. It like, there's a lot of things you can do with it, but it's. it's you have to know how to set it up properly. Computer. And it, it yeah. can take a lot to set up depending on what you want to do. So it's not the most simple and easiest or fastest way to get started for podcasting which is why a lot of people opt in mm -hmm. for something like Streamyard. yeah i think a lot of big names we'll find a lot of big names that are using Streamyard. i would think i would think i think Streamyard's pretty pretty popular right yeah now. yeah i've been surprised i mean you can kind of tell by looking at the stream layout if they're using stream or not and it'll surprise you sometimes like oh well, wow this person's using stream um mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um so yes yeah, so saeed you're saying that we could like integrate with rumble and things like that's uh that's conceivable yeah that's exactly like it was a plan but we actually wanted to do the, the safest way and basically the most straightforward one the best one mm -hmm. was like since all streamers would probably not all like and most of them were familiar with stream with obs we were actually trying to get that in place but we noticed like something like uh streamyard doesn't let, let us do that so we decided to just uh, make a chatbot so that it sends and you and the streamer just can handle the message in any way it wants. But right now, like if someone doesn't have Twitch for some for any reason that uh, whatsoever, uh, they might not. They basically will have to leave this field empty and they won't see any uh, messages. But if we maybe integrate into more platforms or even get the get the OBS screen going. Uh, I think it will open up the page for like uh, open open the environment for for more streamers that have some limitations on Twitch basically or any other mm -hmm. platform. Yeah, if you guys ever get the uh, right. the OBS overlay working, I'll definitely test that out myself. I can I have experience with OBS, so I can use it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sure, it it actually awesome. would be like a, be a separate page. I, I like you know you I I can say you know it more than me. It would be basically like a, like the page that uh, shows the chat live. You would have to overlay the URL on the stream on the stream basically. That's uh, yep. that's yep. that's the plan. That's the initial plan. Yeah, but we would have to work out the styling and if the, if we need to add some animations to it, like if the tip is more, we just show it differently, or if if it's less, we just I don't know. We, we can just figure them out. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what is he saying? Um, Victor is saying, wouldn't it be better if the notification message said name donates a dollar in Monero? Uh, it, it is. I don't know. Oh, instead of saying, instead of saying uh, in USD, saying in Monero or something? Uh, do you guys understand yeah. what Victor's saying? Maybe having... Actually, okay, saying, we, we, we actually like... He's saying denominated the idea. I think that's the that's the wording. Just how to just it says mm -hmm. name donates, but we say like name tipped something. But it yeah, it saying that tip specifically in Monero, right? Like oh, yeah. it's one dollar, but in Monero, it would be right. kind of cool yeah. if you had an option to use actual the actual Monero amount instead. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we, we could trying to we could add that, right? Let the let the user right. decide yeah, yeah, if they be, want actually, to be denominated to be fair, in dollars or. Monero. Yeah, to be fair, it was initially like in Monero, but we decided because since it's easier to do I like how much Monero is, is is how many USD. That that's why we actually it's it's over overload for us to convert it to USD. But the, but the default value for us is 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 in Monero. So we actually uh, we were actually trying to uh, allow a streamer to template to add some template for their message. 
so they can they can basically show it however they want not just like you say name tip they can just input anything they want and just customize the message themselves but for the sake of like speed and just making it work we just uh, put something static in there yeah yeah these these are these are details that will that will work out but right now it's freaking freaking awesome that is a good point yeah, a lot Victor, of things like like we change, but it's a it's a good start um to see that it works and it works very easily and it's quick and yeah. nice to be able to tip people i i am so i'm utterly impressed here man i know we've been working on this for a long time i've been talking to fiat when he said that we've you guys figured out how to actually have it tip live on Streamyard, would i be able to show the tip I'll be honest with you. It sounded a little too good to be true. I didn't. I didn't think it actually worked. I was like, okay, are we talking about the same thing? Um, and sure enough, you figured it out. So, kudos to you. Uh, I'm. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, so I'm just looking back at my at the the viewer the viewer screen. Um, where where do the uh, tip levels come in? What what are we calling that? Um, yeah, the tiers you mean well, actually if tiers, you tiers right yeah if you go to yeah. your edit page and add some tiers below the enter tip amount input it would show like uh, half a dollar or a dollar or three or whatever tip tier you put in there but it's just the amount once you click on them it just populates the uh, tip amount input right for now that's how tiers work basically the name is just a convention we just put there but we haven't really get that in, in use the main but thing I, th is I the think amount. I put amounts in. Let me see. Um, so I'm going to go to. Um, so I'll go to. You my can go to your page. edit page. Oh, no, in I mean, the edit my, page. My edit page. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. You can edit even change page. if you want to change anything. Okay. Here, hold on. Let me yeah, see. you don't have any tears right now. But yeah. Okay. Am I streaming right now? Okay. Yeah. Uh, edit page. So I'll add a tier. So like I said, so is it the way the way I thought of this would be like so if you tip, um, you know, twenty, let's say twenty five cents, I'm gonna guarantee that I'll, uh, I will read your comment, right? Is is that that makes sense? Right and now, if, unfortunately, right now, no. It's just the amount. Actually, if you put any of them and save it, if you go back to your viewer page, you would see how it works. But right now, you're okay. not counting on the name. Yeah, you can just see it for yourself. It's easier than explaining. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Just for my own. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so do they both and, go? Oh, so, so, so that's 50 cents. Continue. All right. So I added both. Yeah, you can go to your so viewer page right now. The page that the viewers see, basically. My, yeah. my tip page, basically, the first one. Okay, my tip page. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. So it's just showing. Okay, I got you. Yeah, it's literally just showing. It's yeah, exactly. It's just populist input for now. But we can actually even work around this to just, I don't know. Uh, to yeah, it'd be cool if it if it had an action associated with it, right? So it's saying like, if you tip twenty five cents, I'll do this. If you tip fifty, at least fifty yeah. cents, I'll do that. I don't know. Yeah, that's about, a good right? idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Very cool, man. I think. Uh, I think this is it for now. Uh, well, obviously, we're you know we're going to continue to talk about this every show because I'll continue to use it. So during every show, I'll announce in the beginning, "Hey guys, go to xmrchat.com/slash Monerotopia," uh, just to get people get people used to using it. And uh, I think you know this should kind of be the default, even if you send super small tips, guys. It could be kind of like uh, you know one, one or two cents, just so so we start doing it. Right, start doing it. Um, that's it, Saeed. Anything else you want to say or mention that you think we mm -hmm. we should cover? I'm actually, we're fine. Uh, by the way, this is open source. It's on GitHub. Anyone can check it out. But it's not perfectly synced with the current update. But we are working on that to just bring it to whatever the website is right now and sync it with GitHub as well. So anyone, if if anyone wants to contribute or anything, anything, if someone wants to add, they can just um uh, pull up a pr or anything like that yeah amazing man amazing um sure. all right we'll, we'll 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 leave it at we'll leave it at that thank you thank you so much saeed uh yeah. maybe we'll have you on Same again you. sometime soon we could talk about 
any other updates obviously we we have a, a large vision with this fiat demise and i've spoken about some some things so i'm sure you have some ideas too um but there's there's a lot of things i think we can do with this basic functionality and uh maybe perhaps grow it into even more use cases beyond just streaming um mm -hmm. Because effectively what you're doing here is you're, you're tipping for purposes of getting somebody's attention to send them a message, right? And that's, it's not a new idea. Uh, we've seen different variations of this idea, but it's a new utility for Monero itself. Uh, and like, well, you know, to not, not to, to repeat myself too much, but uh, Monero, I do think is the best tool for this purpose because of its privacy and cheap transactions and the fact that now you can do things in a censorship resistant way, right? So you might be some streamer somewhere who was using um, some popular super chat thing uh, tool and they cut you off because they didn't like what you were saying, right? They, they had to cut you off because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're the banks that they deal with put pressure on them and said, you know, shut the streamer down we don't want them receiving uh, money through your your super chat. Uh, tool. The most common culprit uh, being PayPal, uh, as that's the most common way people use to uh, donate and use super chats and stuff. Is PayPal and PayPal is notorious for just shutting people down for really any reason or no reason at all. I think right. you got and a new tip here something. from Trump. It just popped up on the screen. I can oh, see okay, the comment. Perfect. Tramp to 50 cent politicians need not let need not led, but Amish. What what I'm not sure if I if I understand what you're saying there. Need not led, but Amish WCs. I don't know. Uh, Tux, can you interpret that? You know what you're saying there? I could not, not tell lie, you. Maybe need not lie. Hmm. Not, I'm uh, sorry, Tramp Tip. Um, not exactly sure what you're saying there, but I think it has something to do with the fact that it's censorship resistant, uh, which is tremendous, <laughs> tremendous amount of utility, right? So you have people, a lot of people out there talking these days, using the internet to spread information. Uh, and there's always this concern that they'll be that they'll be censored. Well, now you can't censor their revenue stream, which is tremendous, right? Shutting and, down um, their voice obviously is, is a is a is a, a, a grand form of censorship, but also su shutting down their ability to make money off of spreading their message. So this will allow allow perhaps controversial streamers to uh, have a revenue stream and not be shut down. And it's open source, so I'm guessing that means you could self-host it yourself. Um, and if something happens to like the main instance of it, then I guess you could be set it up on your own server, set it up on a VPS or something, and everyone could be running their own copy of this if they want to, if I understand that correctly. Yes, that's the case. It's awesome. That's great. That's great. And how, how are you guys, um, and you guys aren't really necessarily being funded through this at all because you guys don't take a cut at all of the, the tips. It goes directly to the streamer. Um, so do yeah. XMR chat specifically have a, like a donation chat? I know this is probably going through Monerotopia, so I guess that would be saying telling people to do it to Monerotopia or Monero Talk, right? Funding. Uh, and development, yeah, if they, right? they want to help yeah. put up the project, I could have Fiat Demise come up with the, you know, we could come up with the donation address for that. Um, I'm happy to say any any tips, yeah, any tips that are made through through this when I'm using it, I, I will put towards the project. Um, awesome. So yeah, we could we could look at it that way. So yeah, any tips? Any tips made whenever we're streaming and we're using the tool? Uh, I will put the that that revenue towards towards the project. Um, but yeah, we are we are considering uh, um, you know other revenue potential revenue streams, right? So we want to always keep the keep keep the tipping itself free and not add any fees there. But we're thinking about other potential revenues, you know, like added features, right? Just like with XMR Bazaar. So we're thinking there could be some added features, you know, paid for features that people like that that people that are power users would want to pay for, um, things like that. So awesome. we'll 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 roll roll those things out as as we go down the road. Uh, but right now, yeah, and forever, I would say tip, the tipping itself functionality. 
will be free to tippers. There won't be any added fee. Actually, the, the functionality of tipping is done in a way that if you check the address that the, that the tipper receives to, in order to make the payment, it's actually the, uh, the address of the streamer, but with the payment ID. So it's directly to their wallet. It's not even coming to, it's not even going inside XMR chat wallet and then going to streamer. Exactly. It's just directly to the wallet of the streamer yep. itself. Yep, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, one of the things Fiat, Demise, and I were talking about was um, perhaps maybe eventually we would say, you know, to continue using this service for whatever the, you know, you, you have to send us a dollar a month, right? Something like that. Whatever, you know, we're not knowing what the numbers are or whatever. But so you'll, you'll never get charged without getting any tips. But uh, we may, and you know, it's not like we're going to spring this on people, but the, you know, we're thinking this could be a way, right? So everybody, the tipping, as, as Saeed's saying, all tips will be free. Uh, they're going to go straight to the, to the streamer's wallet. But eventually we might say that you have to pay to keep your account going, right? So it might be like, if you don't want to shut down this account and you'd have to create a new one, it'd be like, I don't know, a dollar a month or something, or, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something. Which I think would be very reasonable, especially if streamers are actually making money off this, right? If they're making tens, hundreds of dollars a month off of this and they're accustomed to losing 20%. And now we're just saying, you know, send us a buck or two, uh, not a percentage of your tips, but just like a nominal fee for the service. We think users would probably be okay with that. I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you think, guys? What's your, your thoughts on that? Cox, what do you right. think of that? Okay. Um, well, I mean, maybe. Uh, I'm, I could see maybe issues um, arising with trying to, like, basically sell a service for Monero. Um, what do you mean sell like, a service the, for Monero? You, you were suggesting, what, like a dollar a month for people to keep their accounts or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at that point, it becomes sort of like a business, right? Well, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with businesses. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, try, we're trying to live in a, you know, we're, we're very pro-capitalism, right? We want this to be... Uh, no, I didn't say there's anything wrong with business. I'm yeah. just talking about from a legal standpoint, right? Oh, you, you have You have other stuff you have to deal with if you're going to be selling a service. Yeah. Well, you mean like that we have to be concerned that we're now responsible for people receiving tips or something? No, not necessarily, but it's something you have to keep like track of, right? Like you have to, I don't know, you, you it's, it's just, yeah, you're it selling work. something, right? You're selling something. So now it's, it's becomes a business, at least in the United States. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it would be a business. Yeah. No, we, we'd be fine with that. Right. Like, yeah, okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're, we're against it becoming a legitimate business, right? If, if this becomes large and we have large streamers using this and, you know, um, why not collect a dollar or two per month from the users to to keep it going and growing, right? Um, but yeah, we'll we'll figure that out as things go. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, let's let's move into the news. Uh, thanks, Saeed, for coming on. Uh, and yeah, Saeed, awesome man, great job. Thanks for having me. Thank you all.